Hey guys, what's up, how are you? Hope that you guys are having an amazing one today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarrell. And in today's video, we are going to be reviewing, trying and doing a wear test on the new Natasha Denona High Glam concealers. I picked up two concealers and one of the concealer or what is it called? The correcting concealer. And I am going to be swatching it and all of that for you guys. If you're new to my channel, I'm so sorry that you are catching me on a day that I am trying to get over a cold. But I think that this is the perfect time, especially Especially for those of you that actually have to get somewhere or look presentable for work if you do have a good concealer then it all makes it so much better because even though you are feeling not your best in the inside you can actually look presentable on the outside if you guys are interested in seeing how these concealers apply to the skin the wear test and all of that good stuff then let's go ahead and get into it but before we do please don't forget to like and of course subscribe to my channel if you have not already and let's go ahead and get started with the video So let's go ahead and start with the correcting concealer. I did get mine in the shade C3 and this does have a shelf life of 12 months. I did pick all of these up directly from the Ulta website just to see how fast it actually gets here. Usually when I order anything that is new from Natasha Denona, I use her website and it usually comes here pretty, pretty fast. Ulta did okay. I think that Natasha Denona actually is faster, maybe like a day faster. But anyways, here is the packaging. As you can see, it does have the logo right on the side of it. And I do like the cap. It's like um, the same as NARS packaging, like that rubbery feeling. And again, I did get mine in the shade C3. So it is not going to be like super, super orangey, but it does have that peachy undertone just to correct the darkness that I do have on my under eyes. So we are going to be trying that. I'm just going to give you a really nice swatch. It looks really nice and hydrating and pigmented at the same time. So I end up picking up two concealers in the shade Y7 and N9. I had to pick up two different concealers just because I'm not gonna lie, I actually was a little bit confused. And just like I suspected, the corrector does have a different cap. And here again is the two concealers. Let's go ahead and start with Y7. And this is of course a little bit more on the yellow tone. And the doe foot is actually pretty nice. Let me just give you a close up of it. It picks up a lot of product and as you can see, it's really nice and pigmented. Again, this is Y7. I'm so sorry about my voice. I know that I'm going to have to do a lot of editing because I am coughing and just clearing my throat <laughs> throughout this video. But here is N9 and it's definitely more on the neutral side comparing it to the Y7. I'm going to use this foundation from Say because I'm still testing it and also it's really nice and glowy and I just want something that it's like super hydrating and glowy for my skin right now just because I do have some dry patches for me blowing my nose and just you know being sick and stuff so let me speed this up. I went ahead and applied the foundation. It's really just a nice light layer that I apply. Nothing too crazy. It's just to even out my skin tone and just to prime it with a little bit of coverage, but nothing too much. And I completely avoid this area right here where we are going to start with the concealers and the corrector. And I am going to go in with the corrector on this eye right here, just so we can see how it actually works. I do want to add just a little bit, especially in this inner corner right here where I do have darkness and it's a little bit more on the green side and i'm going to add it just a little bit here you really don't need that much i'm going to blend it out with a sponge i'm going to add it to my eyelid as well all right guys so here is the side with the corrector and you can see a huge difference already i mean i haven't even started with concealers just the corrector and I think that that is the perfect shade for me. I do have some foundation recommendations down below in the description area just in case you guys are interested or just wanting to know what foundations I use and the shades and all of that good stuff. So I am going to use the shade Y7 right on top of that corrector. And I'm going to just add it right here. Let me just start with that much. 
going to use the clean side of the sponge to blend it in and this concealer retails for $30 and is made in Italy and it does have a shelf life of 12 months the high glam brightening and hydrating medium to full coverage crease proof serum concealer from Natasha Denona is also being described on the Sephora website as a game-changing concealer that has a full performance formula and advanced skincare properties it is described as a matte concealer on the Sephora website but it's definitely a luminous concealer in my opinion I'm going to add a little bit of this Y7 right here on my nose and around my mouth I like how thin it is but it yet is like really nice and hydrating and it gives you enough coverage for you to be able to build it up if you need to um or just leave it as it is for a really like natural look so so far so good this is blending really really nice so here is half of the face with the concealer as you can see it's a little bit more brighter in the inner corner just because i added that corrector see that my eye bags is still here i mean it's not going to go away you can only disguise it so much really i don't have any issues when it comes to my under eyes they're not too dry or too oily but what i do have are just a little bit of fine lines not too much but i could also be in denial you guys let me know but what i do have is a little bit of texture in this area as i am getting older and i do have like this little bag right here this eye is a little bit more pronounced than on this eye that is the reason why i wanted to use the corrector on this eye versus this eye right here i'm going to use the n9 on this eye right here without the corrector just to see how it performs i'm going to just add it to the areas that i usually will add concealer which is around my nose the very inner part of my eye a little bit on my eyelid for today's video definitely around my mouth because i do have some discoloration i'm going to use this morphe e8 brush to see how it does versus a sponge i absolutely love the way the sponge just made everything so easy to blend but let's see how the brush does so the brush is definitely blending things out really nicely however i do feel and i really do like the sponge a little bit better with this concealer for some reason here we have the n9 um i do see a huge difference when it comes to the corrector like in the inner corner of my eye i do see that there's still a little bit of grayness a darkness versus this eye right here but you let me know in the comment section down below if you do see a huge difference let me bring you in a little closer so you guys can see the under eyes so here is n9 and here we have the corrector in C3 with the concealer Y7. I'm going to set just because that is definitely something that I do all the time. I'm going to use my Givenchy powder and my puff from Beauty Blender. All right, guys. So here is the skin set already. And again, this is N9. And the corrector and concealer. All right, guys, so I am going to check back. It's 9.51 in the morning, and I'll check back with you guys later. I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera because I do have somewhere to go right now. So I'll see you guys in a little bit so we can check on the concealer again. All right, guys, so I am out and about, and I wanted to just check with you guys. It is about 1.35 in the afternoon right now, and here we have the concealer. On this eye, we have the neutral shade, which is the N9. And on this side right here, we have the Y7 with the corrector. And I was able to do my brows <laughs> in the car. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is how the concealer is going. I don't see that it's creasing too much. It, I mean, very, very, very little. And on this eye as well, we do have a little bit more product here because we do have the corrector on this side. But um, I mean, it is doing just fine. It's looking really nice and natural. I do see a little bit of darkness right here, a little bit of grayness. And this is the eye that we did not use the corrector in just a shade and nine by itself um but it's not looking uh, too bad it is looking really nice hydrating very natural um and it's giving me the coverage that i actually want my eye bags are tame right now so 
yeah um i'll check back with you guys after i pick up my kids and all of that good stuff all right guys so it is 6 34 in the evening and i am going to wrap up this video let's go ahead and talk about the concealer my thoughts first impressions review on this concealer and also the corrector how it actually wore for the whole entire day if you see me that i am a little sweaty shiny is because i was just cleaning out my kitchen i do have piles of laundry that i have to put away and just as a quick reminder, I do have the 9N on this side, which is only the concealer all by itself. I also added it to my eyelids, and I can definitely see that there is a little bit of texture just, you know, creasing definitely on the eyelids. So I don't think that I'm going to be using this concealer for my eyelids ever again. Definitely good for the under eyes. So far, I do not see that there's any issues with the under eyes whatsoever there's no creasing no buildup there's no breakage of the product the same thing with the corrector and the concealer but i do feel like this side right here with the y7 and the corrector it actually just provided me a little bit more brightness is less grayish um more my style because i do like a bright in under eye not too 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 bright but definitely like a, a perfect medium and i think that this is definitely it for me i really do like the corrector sign and the y7 again together just because i do feel like it really created a really nice like brightening effect on the inner corner of my eye and also just cancel any discoloration that i do have here like that grayish greenish you know what i'm talking about um here i can still see it peeking through and, and even after adding powder i can still see it peeking through um but yeah definitely on the lids i don't know if you can if you're able to tell but on the lids it's definitely creasing you know there's definitely creases there because your your eyes <laughs> you have to open your eyes when you're awake um so you're going to have some creases there and yeah it's definitely settling into my lines but when it comes to the under eyes you can definitely see a difference and again this is the corrector with the y7 and here we have the 9N. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. My first impressions slash a review on the Natasha Denona concealer and corrector. I hope that this is helpful just in case you guys were in the market for a new concealer. You just wanted to see it in action, whether it's worth your money or not. I hope that I was able to assist you with that. If you guys have any questions or any comments, don't forget to leave them down below. And that is it, my friends. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love, your time and support. Please don't forget to like and of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time bye by the way i color my hair what do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below and i need some honey i just want some honey right now because i really need to coat my throat it is burning anyways bye bye bye